electricity, a convenient energy which is undeniable in our daily life. From lighting a bulb to running a large industry, without electricity all are worthless. But how this electricity come to our houses? In this video, I will show you the journey of electrical power from generating station to our house. If you love my video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's switch on. A bulk amount of power is generated at thermal power station, hydroelectric power station, nuclear power station and then the power is transmitted to a long distance near to our house and then we get electricity. In between this journey, the level of voltage is stepped up in power transformer then transmitted to a long distance then voltage level is stepped down and distributed in some different cities and industries. After one more step down, we get electricity at our house. We can easily understand the journey of electricity using this flowchart. This is called single line diagram. Before explaining the diagram, let's understand the basic symbol used in this single line diagram. Basically, this is the symbol of a transformer. The small circle indicates the low voltage and the large circle indicates the high voltage of the transformer. If the direction of power is from low voltage to high voltage, it is called stepping up and if the power flow from high voltage to low voltage, it is called stepping down. First of all, the power is generated at generating station at 11 kV. Then it is fed to the generating substation and here the voltage is stepped up from 11 kV to 132 kV. Then it is transmitted to transmission substation and here the voltage is stepped down from 132 kV to 33 kV. The extra high voltage transmission from generating substation to transmission substation of 132 kV line is called the primary transmission. Now the 33 kV line from transmission substation it is fed to three different feeders and this is called the secondary transmission and the feeders are coming to the 33 by 11 kV distribution substation and from distribution substation it is again fed to three different primary distribution line and from the three distribution line it is stepped down from 11 kV to 415 volt and from the 415 volt line there are different types of service connections is given to the consumers it is either single phase or three phase and this type of distribution is called secondary distribution so this is the single line diagram from generating station to our house and now you can see this is the actual working single line diagram and thus the power is distributed from generating station to the single phase or three phase consumer now there is a question for you why different kinds of voltage level that is 132 kV, 11 kV, 33 kV, 415 volt this is used in this power system please write it in the comment box till then stay tuned with us Jai Hind Jai Bharat